What is going on guys, Vlad here with solospeelc.com. Welcome back to yet another tutorial on different instructions which you can find in RS Logics and Studio 5000 as well as many other uh, PLC programming languages. However, today we are going to look at the modulo instruction. So very straightforward mathematical uh, instruction, which may or may not be familiar to some of you, but what it allows you to do essentially is take the remainder of a division. So in many circumstances, whenever you divide two numbers, uh, of course, if it's not an even uh, division, you would be left with what's called a remainder. So for example, 10 divided by three, it's going to give you uh, an integer of three, and then the remainder is going to be one. So fairly straightforward. So here in the first rung, let's just jump into it. In the first rung, I have this 200 divided by 483. And as you can see, the destination is what holds the, uh, the remainder. Uh, which comes out to be 28. And of course, there's no preceding conditions for this instruction. Therefore, it executes on a continuous basis. So once again, we can test with a different value. So like I mentioned, 10 divided by three, uh, the division would give you a three. And of course, uh, if you're not using a float to store that value, and the remainder is going to be a one based on this modulo instruction. In the first rung, what I have here is exactly the same scenario, except I'm actually dividing two real numbers. And here we are getting this remainder, which is going to be 0 0.22, uh, 0.000122. So 222 divided by 10, uh, which actually that is uh, a little bit interesting because you would expect 200 divided by 10 would be equal to 20. But then, so I guess there's some weird uh, things going on when, whenever you have floats because in theory you should be able to just divide that uh, without any problems. So I wanted to test that out and of course it's not giving us the expected results because both of these um, are real numbers and I'm also storing this in a real. So in theory, you should not get a remain remainder as you would expect whenever you're dividing float uh, float numbers. In any case, let's move on to rung number two. So in rung number two, uh, we are doing essentially this very simple example of uh, what could happen in a real world scenario. So imagine you have a production line where during a certain shift, you're counting the number of uh, you know, boxes produced, and then these boxes get packaged around. So let's specify a couple of numbers. So total number of products produced, this is boxes, let's give this, uh, let's give it an even number. So 10,000 crates have been produced. How many uh, products per case do you actually have? Let's say it's 12 of them. So in that case, the total number of cases that we should have made would be 833. So that of course is a division which takes into account that we are using integers. Therefore, we definitely have some uh, loose cases in our plan, right? So you want to figure out how many loose cases you have and you can use the uh, very useful and convenient instruction, which is the modulo. So once again, we have 10,000 products made. We have 12 products per case. Therefore, we are left with four products, wherever those might be. So then you can go into the factory and figure out what's going on with those four products. Or do they need to be uh, put into the next shift? So on and so forth. So this is not something that you'd see uh, very frequently, but it is definitely an instruction that you should be aware of. And it is within the compute and mathematical section right here. And uh, just to summarize, like I've said, you have three different fields, source A, source B, and the destination. In source A, you will be specifying what, uh, which number you're dividing, um, which number you're dividing in source B, the number you're dividing by and the destination is going to store the modulo or the remainder of that division. So very straightforward, but uh, extremely useful in many circumstances. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.